Hey guys, episode two, two of Explain That Blog. This one is looking at a blog we did almost this day last year and it was called the $27,000 Ford Tempo. If you know what a Ford Tempo is, it means you were probably in your mid 30s, 40s, 50s and onward. It was a butte. It was a car back in the uh, in the 80s. No, not 70s, just the 80s, early 90s, you'd see them. The point is, is there is no such thing as a $27,000 Ford Tempo, but the premise of the blog was you can ask twenty seven dollars for your Ford Tempo, but it doesn't mean it's worth that because the buyer is probably not going to buy it. So where that relates to the real estate industry. So we look at the discrepancy between average asking price and average selling price on a month to month basis. And typically they follow each other um, where you'll see it. Oh, cool. Where you'll see like an eight to 10, 12 percent difference. So, for example, if the average selling price in a month is four hundred and forty five grand in St. Catharines, the average asking price is typically four ninety five hundred is is there's always that little bubble between the two. Um, then you get into some other markets like Niagara Falls. So uh, so far this year has been between 12 and 25 percent. For example, uh, in November, there was a hundred and twenty two thousand dollar difference between average asking price and what things are selling for. What does that mean? It means you could have a handful or a bunch of listings that are hanging out there that are way, way priced extremely high and have, are not selling. And you get a whole bunch down here that sell. Um, but when you look at over a longer period, you start to be able to put more weight into it. And over time, we've seen that trend consistently. Uh, Niagara Falls, though, is a pretty serious offender as far as that spread being wider. Uh, again, November 122,000. Some months it's it's pushed 150, meaning the average selling for that month is 430 grand, but the average asking price is averaging 550 or 560. So again, there's there's the the hopes and dreams of the seller and the reality of where things are at. Doesn't mean the market's bad. It just means that these aren't necessarily in in touch with where things are at. So. That's the explanation of it in a nutshell. Uh, check it out. The link is down below, above, or beside, depending on what platform this is on. But uh, have a read through it. Hopefully it makes sense. The main point is sometimes those asking prices become the market where people see and they say, oh my God, the market's crazy. Why? Well, have you seen what they're asking down the street? Well, they're asking that, but they're not selling it for that necessarily. So really the, uh, the proof is in the sale price pudding. That's a thing, I guess. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Any questions, let us know anytime. We're happy to help. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye.